Welcome to reading chapter eight, purpose and tone practice tutorial. So again, we are working with purpose and tone and purpose is the point or reason for the article or text or paragraph or the piece of work. What are they trying to say? Are they trying to, trying to persuade, to inform you, or just to entertain? Those are three, three of the most popular purposes. And tone is the attitude of the author or writer towards the subject or towards the audience. So let's look here. We'll do a couple of exercises, uh, practices together. So it says contrary to most people's belief, high school students should not work part-time. Such work hinders their academic performance by taking time away from their studies. Moreover, part-time jobs available to teens rarely teach skills that will be useful in later life. So again, on here, you have to look for certain buzzwords, certain, certain keywords or signal words that will tell you if something is giving you information, persuading, or entertaining. So usually persuading it's the easiest way to identify um, certain buzzwords. And the reason for that is persuade is another way of arguing or giving an opinion. You'll see words like should or never or have to or everyone needs to, that type of rhetoric. Versus um, to inform. Inform will have more facts, statistics, data, taken from either history books or, or science books or textbooks or anything, anything that they can prove. So, and then entertainment is really, some may say, oh, it's funny or it's, it's laughable, or amusing, but it doesn't necessarily have to be just funny. It, it could be neither inform or persuade. It could just be, <laughs> be just making a blanket statement that is just not supposed to be taken seriously, not giving any information or trying to persuade someone about that. Just, just giving some silly information in a way, silly, not just informing. It's really just giving a silly statement. So on this, we look at, we look here at the first sentence says should not. And then also contrary to most people's belief, and then moreover, part-time job available, rarely teach. So obviously this person believes that uh, high school students should not work part-time and they're giving you re their reasons why. So we're going to go with persuade. And that is correct. So this is an example of the purpose is persuade. Next one. Millions of Americans, including millions of children, lack health insurance. Many of the uninsured work time work full time, but still can't afford insurance. Insurance uninsured and underinsured people tend to live with more illnesses and die at a younger age than those who are in insured. A truly just and compassionate government would make adequate health care available to every citizen. So, based on this. Is it going to be to inform, persuade, or entertain? So in a way, it seems like it's informing because it's, it's telling us that millions of Americans, including millions of children, lack health insurance, and it's giving us many uninsured work full-time but still can't afford. But the fact that, say, a truly just and compassionate government would make adequate health care available to every citizen. So it's between inform and persuade because entertain is just – it's it's too serious. It's usually with entertain, it'll give you a silly subject matter as well. So the correct answer between a between inform and persuade and uninsured and underinsured people tend to live with more illness and die at a younger age than those who are insured. So based off this, correct answer would be well. Um, the fact that it says a truly just and compassionate government would make adequate health care available to every citizen. Let's see what the correct answer is now between inform and persuade. And the correct answer is... Persuade. 
persuade. And the reason for the persuade is, yes, it's giving information, but at the end, the final sentence there, a truly just and compassionate government would make adequate health care available to every citizen. The fact that it would make it. Now, if it didn't have that sentence and it just had the millions of Americans all the way to then those who are insured. So if it would have not included this, then we would have just chosen inform. But the fact that they say that, that makes it a persuasion. Next one. I'm not big on the great outdoors. My idea of roughing it is having to park at the far end of a store's parking lot and then walk from there to the store. So again, this it's not really informing or persuading. It's just giving a, a maybe an anecdote, just something to just amuse or just an everyday thing, an observation. So based on this, it's most likely because it's not providing us with any information that's important or persuading about a point of view or an opinion. So it's most likely entertain just to be funny or amuse. Last one here. In the United States, the most popular breakfast is cold or hot cereal. One survey indicated that 86% of Americans ate cold cereal and 68% ate hot cereal for breakfast during the past year. More than 40% reported that they also snacked on cereal. So this is filled with statistics. It's not trying to persuade us about cold and hot cereal or anything like that or what's better or what's worse. It's just giving us information. So since it's just providing us this information, it's going to be to inform. All right. Let's go here to the next one. Overweight and obesity have become a national epidemic in America. These conditions pose a huge risk to health. Amer Americans need to eat less and exercise more, and they need to start now. This is a public health issue that cannot be ignored. So this right here, and the fact that it has words like need to, need to, and what you can always tell yourself is, as if they're talking to you, do you need to do this? Or you have to do this? And what I always argue is, well, don't tell me what to do or how to think. So, but again, when people try to give an opinion or a persuasion, they tr try to use those types of words or rhetoric like need to, have to, should. And so, again, the correct answer here is persuade. So that brings us to the end of purpose and tone. So I hope that this, this helps you, and uh, I will see you next time on the next tutorial. Thank you.